Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Dr. Kosi J. Sapo, Adwa Safoa, and Efia Bohima Gobi as they present to us the Kantakanya Sabuakwa special vehicle for irrigation. A round of applause, please. Um, like you. Sabri is Kantakanya Na Yetamase. Na Yetamase. Like you already said, Papa promises a new technology for irrigation to help us solve issues of climate change that is affecting farmers in our part of the world. And climate change has faced its threats. Yeah, that is Isha talking. So I think you should give me some hands of applause. And thank you, Isha, too. Back to what I'm saying, climate change has actually placed its pressures on the pattern of rainfall, which usually most farmers in Africa depend on. And the forms of irrigation we have in our system, or that are upcoming, are just scalable to the extent that we cannot afford maintenance sometimes. What has come to be known as. Is dependent on the depth of soil inundation and the height of course. It has a water pump capacity of 40,000 liters and pouring, po and pouring points of 3 by 19 feet. This water pump has a single station in the dog pump, which gives an output of 1,800 liters per minute at 10 bar. And it is EN thousand and twenty eight and five. The water from the has a force of eight point two plus nine point two kilowatts. It has a four cylinder water cooling system and uses petroleum fuel. Can Sapoka uses a three way nozzle system and it has a hundred and eight nozzles. Can Sapoka is moved by a tractor. It has, a, it has a length of 169 inches and a width of 126 inches. Without the prime over, that's the tractor, its length is 33 feet, 1 inch. And with the tractor, it has a length of 52 feet, 1 inch. The spraying arms of Nyasa, this means that it can irrigate vegetables, cereals, tubers, plantain, and even some tree fruit crops. 